Good evening, my name is Holly Miller and I'm with Country Road Crafts and today I just want to come on a real quick, well not real quick, I'm going to color some eggs and I'm going to do them with foil. And I got the little plastics eggs from Michael, I'm sorry not Michael's, but they were from Dollar Tree for $1.25, I got two packs. So they're little plastic eggs and I'm going to put some foil adhesive on them and after I put the foil adhesive on them, I'm going to put some foil on them. It takes about 15 minutes for the foil adhesive to set up. So I've got some waiting over here and I'm going to go ahead and paint some adhesive on these. And then I'm going to show you how I got these. I like coloring eggs at Easter. My kids are grown. I have no grandkids yet, so I'm going to color some eggs. Give me a second. Hey Liz, how are you? Gonna work on these Easter eggs tonight. Hey Estelle, how are you? Gonna color some Easter eggs tonight. I got the foil. Um, some of the foil I got from Pam Haskins on at 44 Marketplace Creative Finishes class, and some of the foils I got from uh I think it's called Artsy Paint Studio. But um, yeah, I, I these are beautiful. So I'm gonna paint some adhesive. It's just it's just called foil adhesive, and I got it from the um the artist studio. I think Pam has some too, but I I can't remember if she sells it out there or not. I'm sure she does if she sells the foil. So I'm just painting a good layer on. You want to put a good base on. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. Smooth base. I was doing it with a sponge a little bit ago and it wasn't working for me. So that's why I'm a little later than I would be normally. And I normally don't come on this late because 9 30 is bedtime, but these eggs are in my brain. I got to get them done. I don't know if you guys are like that. Estelle, I'm starting to like foil. If I put the adhesive on right, it comes out right, but I have struggled with it a few times. I've been trying to play with it more. The different mediums is what I'm trying to play with more, just to learn different stuff. And when we were down at the um, Creative Finishes in 2020 with Pam, uh, she introduced us to it. So it's kind of something different. And I just, these eggs, I've seen um, Jen on the Artsy Studio last year do these eggs. See how they're kind of, make sure they even coat of adhesive. I missed the spot. And I'm just going to stick them. I got them on a, like a little um, off off camera here. I got them on a little piece of uh, cardboard. So I put them on sticks because little eggs have holes in the bottom. And I just poke them on the sticks Oops, like that. So I don't get my fingerprints all over them because I'm taking the adhesive off when I touch them. We went down in June of 2020 is when me and Frank went down. It's when we first met Pam. Wonderful class. Love the class. Can't wait to get down there again. I'm going to make sure I get the bottom of these because I keep forgetting to do the bottom. And adhesive don't stick where there's no adhesive. The foil does not stick. And I, at first, I was just putting a light coat, but a light coat makes it look light, so I'm kind of putting a thick coat to cover it. And it takes, like I said, 15 minutes for these to dry. So I'm going to do this first. I have some over here drying that I did earlier. And I'm taking it, you guys can hear me because you're responding. So I've been having problems with my mic. Oh, I'm jealous, Estelle. We're ready to go back, but it's just not a good time right now with gas being ladies and we are in North Carolina and she's in Georgia. Right now, it's just not a good time. Hopefully, everything settles soon and we can get back down there. We really learned a lot of different stuff in her class.
You guys don't anything particular for Easter tomorrow? We actually had Easter dinner today. Hot dogs and hamburgers, nothing huge. My daughter came down, our daughter came down, and her boyfriend. And we just had some hot dogs and hamburgers for dinner. Our nephew's down, visiting him for the weekend. When we take him home tomorrow, oh, still you're in Michigan. When we take our nephew home tomorrow, we're going to stop by and see our son and his new wife for Easter real quick. Is it cold in Michigan, Estelle? I think of Michigan. I don't care what time of year it is. I always think it's cold. <laughs> I don't know why I think that. Sorry. It takes me a minute to put that on the stick and make sure I got it covered good. I'm just taking a regular paintbrush. I took one of the foam brushes, but it didn't spread chilly. It was nice here today in North Carolina. It was beautiful, actually. It rained for a minute, but it was like 80 degrees, I think. It was warm. Okay, see how that's coated. I missed the spot right there. The lights help. I can see all the spots I've missed. And try not to touch it because if you touch it, you wipe off the adhesive and it won't stick. You can see me. Okay, these got to set for like 15 minutes for that to set up. Whoa. 40. That's cold. That's not chilly, Estelle. That's cold. 40 degrees is cold. <laughs> 40 degrees, I'm pulling out the heavy jacket. I don't like it cold here. Especially on the coast. It's, it gets really, really cold. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, this one here is one that I did earlier. And it's our, the adhesive has been on there for a little bit, a little longer than 15 minutes. And I've got some of these little papers. Oh, that's a pretty one. I'm going to grab that one. So this is silver. I got this. Uh, I'm going to set this back up for a second. I didn't take these off this thing. So these are this. These are samples I got from uh, the Artsy Paint Studio, I think it's called. I'll, put, I'll look it up and put it in the comments. But she sends samples out sometimes and... They're just perfect size for these little eggs. Okay, and this says Ramsey Gold, and it has like, I think that's pretty. You guys can see that. Beautiful. So, hopefully I can get it to work. Bear with me if it doesn't. <laughs> it's kind of like the little thing I did yesterday, and oops, oh, I had to clean that off. That was a mess. I'll have to sh do it again and show you guys what I come up with. Okay, so I'm trying to get this on evenly. And I found this little tool, and I got this tool from Amazon, and I'm just going to spread this out and make sure all the adhesive is touching the egg and covering it evenly. It takes a minute, and my fingers are sticking together because I touched that adhesive. <laughs> They're all sticky. Oh, yeah, I like this full too. Um, she has a million different colors, and I'm not sure what Pam has in stock, but her beautiful color, you know, her colors are beautiful, too. I've got a rose over here. I'll do another one. One. It's a black and white rose. I like the flowery ones. You guys can see that. And then I'm going to take this little, it's a nail brush I got. I'm just going to, just going to clean So you guys, okay, okay guys, you hear my babies, you hear my babies, you hear my babies, they're looking out for strangers, okay, so I'm going to, I think it's down good, I'm just going to pull it up, and my fingers are sticking to everything, oh that's pretty. 
in here. Look how that. And I missed the spot right there, so I had to come back and get that. You can see how it's. I'm just going to put it down willy nilly. I'm going to do it again. So I'm just going to take this, this tool here and go try to. And the trick is that I just learned was you got to use enough adhesive. You don't use enough adhesive, it turns out bleh. Like, I didn't put enough easy the first time on this one, and you guys can see the spots. It's not covered completely. But I went back and put more adhesive on it, and I hope it doesn't ruin it, but it's the golden one. It's okay. And this is just for my decor. It's not for anything else special. It's just for me, and I'm not perfect. So my decor don't have to be perfect. As they keep telling me, that's the, the, the key of... Uh, handmade stuff because it's not 100% manufactured and it won't be perfect which is very hard for me to take sometimes so I want it to be just right you guys see that okay, I want to keep turning it and keep going Go down here. I'm gonna take this little tool and I'm just gonna keep smoothing it down and keep moving it around. And as the heat, as the foil goes on, it's less sticky. It's less sticky. Oh, Liz, I'm terrible. I will reduce like that piece yesterday. I don't know if you guys seen what I did yesterday. The, I did the um, magnolia design and the stencil stencil. Those two things turned out beautiful and perfect. But the last thing I did was the fusion sign, and it turned out like poo. And you can ask, still, it was poo, and it was a mess. But you know what? I cleaned it off. I, I rethought it, and I'm going to try to redo it because it was worse than just not perfect. It was poo. It was bad. See? Let's keep moving it around. Take my tool. Just put it down. Oh, Liz, I want to do some of those glass things that you were doing, too. Um, I need to talk to you about putting a kit together because I would like to do some of those. Those are beautiful, and I would love to do a lot of that, too. Those, I just, oh, my goodness. I just don't know where to find the pieces at. Or if you just let me know what kind of pieces I need to make a flower and how to make the flower. I'm not artsy. I can't draw a flower. I can put a flower down. I can print it. But, uh, oh. That's so pretty. I know. I know. I am terrible critic of myself. I catch myself. But people go, oh, that's so beautiful. I'm like, yeah, but, you know, and it's hard for me to go, thank you. It's really hard for me to just go, thank you. Because what I can do with the paint and with all the pretty stuff that I can do, you know, they have their own talents, but it's not paint. I can't paint in lines. Yes, Pam did teach me how to apply the foil to the furniture. Actually, my husband did the foil. I watched, but she did show the whole class. But my husband actually put the foil to the furniture. Um, but I also follow another uh, lady. Her group is, um, I think it's called the, I think it's called the Artist Studio, Artsy Paint Studio, or something like that. And she does um, lives on all of that um, too. And I'll bug her about this, that, and the other. Just as much as I bug the rest of y'all about everything else. <laughs> it takes me a few times to listen to somebody telling me something before it sticks. But yes, Pam is the one that introduced me to foil. And I think... Oh, oh right there. See right there? I missed that spot. So I got a little more here. Just going to put that down it still had it's still sticky, so that's a good thing. I seen um, Jen do it last year on that RC studio, RC paint studio, and I absolutely loved it and thought it was the cool idea for eggs. And since my kids are grown and I don't have grandbabies, 
these are pretty. Okay. Here's the other gold one I did, and I goofed on it. I gotta find the piece I was working on. With it. I move it. Oh, and you can see just a little bit at the top there. I don't know if it's gonna work the way I thought, but I have a little tiny bit of stuff left there, so I'm gonna try to get that top with just a little bit I got. And once I'm done, and if they're still a little bit tacky, I'm going to put a top coat on them and seal it, and then it won't be tacky anymore. Um, I'm going to do this too. Um, I'm reading y'all's comments. I'm sorry. Um, I am going to do this in the fall with pumpkins. As soon as they come out at um, Dollar Tree, I'm getting me some. I have a Dollar Tree less than two miles from my house. It's scary sometimes. I'm like, oh, they got new crafts. <laughs> it's not a fancy, fancy uh, Dollar Tree, but it is a Dollar Tree. Dollar 25 tree. And then there's a nice, nice one up in Jacksonville that has nicer projects where I get the birdhouses from. They're $5 for the birdhouses, but they're already put together. You know, and all I have to do is just sand them and paint them. And I think Friday, coming up this Friday, at 6, I'm going to do a birdhouse. Yeah, if I don't put a top coat on them, still, they're tacky. And I, and I can't deal with the tacky. I can't deal with the stickiness. It drives me nuts. My, right now, my hands are driving me crazy. Okay, see, I covered all that just by putting the extra adhesive on it earlier and just getting the rest of that foil off that and I used this used to be gold complete gold so I used all of this you can see just a few you know if you turn over you see just a little bit that I haven't done yet on that so this one is done and then this one we're gonna do another one I have a purple here I wanted to grab. Oh, wait, I'll grab that one first. I have this color on my fusion paint sign I put together at the, one of my vendor malls. I love it. I painted it um, yellow underneath it so it would stand out. So if I missed any spots, uh, it would cover. Oh, there's the other piece. I cut that piece too small, so I got two pieces here. Okay, and I can't remember the name of the color, but I can look it up for you guys if you want. Okay. It's tacky on my fingers. It's rolling. <laughs> okay, so. Just going to use, this thing here is nice. I got it from Amazon. I think Heather... Uh, Pam's friend had it on hers, and I actually got this from Roy Cycles. She does it for her uh, decoupage stuff, and I like it. It has a little felt. Like, this side's just a plastic little scraper, but this side's a felt on it, and it helps push all this down. And when you're doing decoupage, my fingers are sticking again. When you do decoupage, it uh, helps push it down. Gives all in it cracks, and you know, gets it all laid down real nice and I'm popping the edge off the end of the thing. You can see I got all of my fingers. Sometimes I forget to talk. I can't con I can't concentrate on this and talk at the same time. It's one of my <laughs> it's it's a, have issues, you know. I 
And like I said, once you get the foil down, it doesn't stick on top of the other unless you put more foil down. So it will fill in the cracks that doesn't have a heat or doesn't have foil on, but it won't double like uh, the decoupage. Um, it kind of sometimes sticks or not decoupage transfers. They'll stick on top of each other, and I get a little lump. This doesn't stick on top of anything. Once you put the um, adhesive and then put the foil down, it's not tacky anymore. Unless you put more foil adhesive on it because you didn't get enough on it or your fingers are touching it like mine are touching now. Hopefully. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I love it. Like I said, I put these, I bought the uh, letters from the Dollar Tree or Dollar Store, Dollar General, maybe. And I spelled out fusion middle, or I think it just spelled out fusion. And I just put these colors, this this color foil on those letters. It's bright and it's bright, bright, bright in the sun. Look at that. Oh, I love that. Pretty little edges. Okay. Sorry guys, it's gonna take me a little longer than a few minutes. Cause I got I got like a bunch to do. But I I wanna do them all tonight. Look at that. That spot right there I missed, so I'm gonna put the gonna put this right back down there. I'm gonna put this tool right over top of it and get that little crack. See, fill it in. I'm gonna fill in this up here. Yep. See where it's filling in. Good. Let me know if you need any more. Um, I just got a full stock of the fusion paint in, um, and they're running low on a couple of colors, so it takes me a little bit to get them in, but I'm trying to keep enough in, so if I run out, I still have a little bit more um, put back in the um, storage. Um, but the whites and the grays, and everything else runs out. Whites and grays and the black runs out really quick. So I got 12 of them. And I think I have eight of them still. So, but I was completely out of that Victorian lace. And it took forever for me to get that back in. I was out for like two months. And they, that's the new color. It's white. And they're loving it. I'm like, I ordered a bunch. But a little bit goes a long way with the fusion. I um, painted a sofa table today and I did it in Bedford and it was a dark brown and it didn't even take me that much. I put like three coats on. You can't even, I mean, you can't even tell I took any out of the bottle. But I put three good coats on. I really did. And it covered. I love it. I'll get pictures of that tomorrow. It's not dry and I didn't finish the AG. Uh, glaze on it yet. I have to touch it up for a couple spots and get the handles on it. Okay, so it's not sticky anymore. Look at that. What? I think right there. Right there. You see, I got it on my, I got a heat up on my finger <laughs> and I got some of the foil on my finger. Story of my life. There you go. Look at that. Psychedelic. My daughter would love it. Actually, that's that. my colorful. Ooh, what about that one? It's like a polka dotted dinosaur right there. This one's called Leopard Lime Green. You see that? 
Nope. It's too shiny. Sorry. Oops. So I'm going to try to do the bottom first because it gives me grief. couple of greens I have um, there is a green called park bench which is a uh, green green and then there's a little um, it's called pressed fern is a little bluish green and then I got lighter a brook is a lighter green but you can go on my website on the country road crafts nc.com and then look through there and uh, all the colors are listed But fusion, I just, I don't know. I like, I like Dixie Bell too, but fusion covers better. I think, and it's easier to spray for me. I don't know if that's true for everybody, but for me, I have issues with the Dixie Bell. Um, and it may just be me, might be just a personal thing. Good night, Estelle. Thank you. I'll post pictures in the morning when I'm finished. Can you guys see what I'm doing still? Oh, this color. I love it. Leopard lime green. I don't like animal prints, but I do like it on these eggs. I'm going to do that other one before I get off here. <laughs> My daughter would love the bright colored eggs too. She likes the crazy colors. I'm usually just a plain, I don't use color and too much of anything, but these spoils are, they make me test the waters a little. Down here, if you find an egg like this, it might be an alligator egg. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what they look like, but to me, this looks like an alligator egg. So that spot right there is not sticky anymore. I'm going to have to put some more adhesive on it and let it sit and then maybe that little piece right there, but not a big deal. sure how to make my live um what is it called uh announcer or notify folks i'm not quite sure how to do that yet so i guess i need to learn how to do that i did set up an event for next friday at 6 30 um eastern standard time so it'll be 7 30 your time is
right there. Trying to catch the spots that I may have missed. Okay, you had a button pop up so you can do so do I have to have everybody do that or is it a button that automatically pops up or the adhesive that's sticky the foil is not sticky at all it's just a piece of it's just a piece of paper so if i don't have like this hand doesn't have adhesive on it it's just plain you know just like a just like a piece of um to me it feels like a piece of uh wrapping paper like for christmas or whatever but once you put the foil on it or the adhesive on it it pulls the foil off and that's what i got all this this hand and it does it's got adhesive everywhere I have it on my hands, got it on my phone, I got it on my couch, I think. <laughs> cool. I'll have to look into that. Okay, so I don't think I got enough adhesive down here, so I'll have to add more down here. I got a little zealous, I think, and excited. But you could add more adhesive. Or maybe I lied. Nope, it's not sticky. That's not sticky. You can see where it's sticky, it sticks. It's very sticky. So it's not sticky now at all. But there's some spots that I have to go back and just touch. I've missed a few spots. So no big deal on that. I think I have enough of this color. Oops. Let's see. Move some of this out of the way. I have this. I think I have enough of it. I have it laying over there if I don't, but I think I have enough of it. Right. And I have two little pieces here, so hope oh. <laughs> if I can get on the right side. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So I'm going to, and I don't remember the name of this one either. This is one of the ones I got from Pam. You probably have it wrote down somewhere. I was trying to cut it down smaller, so maybe that was key to the other things. I had them smaller. This might be too big for all this. And you can see right there, I already have stuff underneath there. So it's not adhesive anymore, so it's not going to stick right there. 
He already has stuff covered there, so. If the adhesive's already covered up, it's not gonna stick to it. So that makes it keep it from overlapping. Rolling it down the Still sticky there, so I'm gonna keep going. Let's see. Nope, not blue. It's black and white. It's just black and white. It looks blue because the lights are shining on it, I think. I have another blue over here in a second I'll grab. But this is just black and white. The lights, I have a, um, on this side here, I have one of those fluorescent lights. Yeah, it's the reflection of the fluorescent light on that side. It's the blue. down at the bottom here. So I'm just going to roll it around. Nope, wrong end. I see this coming off better blue. Yes, I'm going to put an Easter basket together with those. Um, Cutouts I did last week of the Easter Bunny and the uh, chick and the egg. I'm gonna put something together and take a picture of it because I wanted I wanted these eggs with it and I've been wanting to do them for years but I just haven't done it yet. And I thought I'm not coloring eggs this year because my kids are grown and they're gone and I want to do them. So that's what we're doing. Pretty foil eggs. 
And I want to do, like I said, in the fall, when the pumpkins come out in uh, Dollar Tree, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the full adhesive on them and let them sit. And I'm going to um, make metallic foil pumpkins, I think. Your class art last week has me intrigued. I have a ton of red uh, stained glass in the back that I got from a church back home. And it's just sitting back there in like a, um, a tote. And I'm not quite sure. I don't want to throw it out because, you know, you could do something with it. But I don't know what I'm going to do. And I can't. The only color I have is red. And they're in different shapes and sizes and go crazy. So and you can see the blue coming off better than the other ones. You see, they'll clear through it. When it's all the way through it, that means that he's the uh, foil is on the egg. It doesn't seem like I got enough adhesive on this one. Well, it's drying on me. But it has a very long... Oh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, Liz. I need to find some, um, I need to find some blue, but I don't know where, no, I'm not going to throw it away. That's why it's still there. It's been there for two years. Um, I just don't know where to pick up the stuff that you, where to pick up the glass and I don't know. I just haven't got that for yet. Yeah, I don't throw anything away. <laughs> windows upstairs like the big old farmhouse windows i'm thinking maybe i can do something with that but i haven't got that far like i said maybe a barn quilt a patriotic barn quilt or something and i have i showed it to you online i have i got this me and my daughter was bedazzling stuff and she had like a little tube of it, but then we went to Walmart to get extra and I found this and it had a little tip on it. Because I was having a hard time picking up those little things with a little toothpick. I have issues and I hate stuff all over my hands. So, maybe that'll work. Pretty. A few more. A few more. I got a purple one here I want to do. Aha. Here's the purple one. It's called Hysteria. I like this one too. Move that one out of the way. Okay. I got it at Walmart, Liz. I got that tube at Walmart. Because I can't deal with the I can't deal with the tube. It made it got on my hands and I got all over the counter and I got all over the pants and we were bedazzling Dan's pants. With all the uh, supply shortages uh, for dance studio 
was getting ready to go to competition and they didn't have their dance pants ready yet because they were they weren't in. So we bedazzled them some. It's kind of cool. It's fun. I miss doing that with her. I think we did like eight or ten pants that night in like a few hours. We had to make a Walmart run before Walmart closed. We got there just in time. eggs with foil. Me and her always were throwing something with her dance outfits when she was in dance. And then when she was in high school, she ran a nonprofit and we, instead of buying outfits, I made, and she designed the outfits and I tried to make them and I'm not a seamstress. <laughs> crazy that I did it. Little girls were happy as can be to have little dance outfits. They weren't the prettiest, but they loved them. And she did that for three years. It was her senior project and her Girl Scout Gold Award project. It's kind of cool. easier just to color the eggs with food color. <laughs> it's taken forever to do it. But they're pretty. I think the purple one's my favorite so far. I might have to order some more because I have a cup in there that the it was a, a tumbler that I bought from Walmart years ago and the color's coming off. And I'm thinking I'm liking this purple enough to put that on my cup. Excuse me, my tumbler. I 
it is in if the if the heat is already down and the foil is already on the heat if it doesn't overlap it won't put another piece of foil on top of it unless it's got a piece of heat on top of it so you just keep i just keep moving it and filling in the cracks until it's full And I got this color. Two more. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm just trying to concentrate and get them all covered. Sorry. I forget to talk. I'm trying to think this through. I can't think and talk and do it at the same time. I want to say this color is called Odom, maybe. This is just scraps I had sit back. Uh, she sent a bunch of like the ones, the little tiny ones like this. This is the one she sends like samples of. And they come, I get them on a 12 by three, I think. That's what the size is. I lost my stick. I think that red there, I had some red on the back of it from, I touched it in the blue earlier. And I think that's where that red came from, but it ain't gonna hurt nothing. Some of these people get online and they talk, 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 and I just, I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Unless you guys are asking me questions. And I'm trying. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. Got a dog here on it. Wonder where that come from, blue. <laughs> So, smooth it out on there. Yes, but too big doesn't, so if I put it all on there and roll it around in there, I'm just, I'm new at this, so um, I haven't learned all the tricks, but yeah, if you have a piece that covers it, it does go a little smoother. And you put your foil, oh, your adhesive on right. If you have your adhesive on right, it goes on easier. If you don't have your adhesive on right, then you get the holes like I had over there and I have to go back and put adhesive on. But I'll get there. Still turn out beautiful. I 
another one. Perfect. One more. One more. And I have, let's see. I have this color, like a peach. I have a red. Uh, I have a weather. Oh, maybe this one. Oh, that's where the glue comes from, too. I have a weathered. I think I like that one. What do you think? I like this one the best. This one, this one, or the red. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this one. Yeah, the blue. That's what I went with. You've been playing on TikTok. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. And I may do something red, white, and blue um, for Memorial Day. Thinking about putting together a um, wreath, maybe. Maybe doing a live on it. I like to do wreaths, too. Those take longer than 30 minutes, though. It is. It is. It's iridescent. Yes. It's, it's, it's beautiful. And with that gold underneath it, it just makes it pretty. Because the, the eggs came that color. I did not paint them. They came that color. Let's see. And this one here is one of the later glue ones I did. So I glued it really good. The adhesive, I put the adhesive on good, but this one, the first few I didn't do so good on. But I learned. I'll get there. It takes some practice with this foil. One time I brushed it on and I, br and I left brush strokes in it and it left um, lines and it was kind of weird. But it was cool because it was a flag. So it made it look like a... Um, a rustic flag or a um, tethered flag so it was kind of cool so maybe i don't know i live on near a well right next to a military base so memorial days kind of big here and fourth of july is huge and veterans day is right next to the marine corps birthday which i live next to a marine corps base that i work on a marine corps base my husband's a former Marine, and uh, these things are kind of big around here. So. Yes, practice does. <laughs> And sometimes I get these ideas. Oh, yeah, it looks like it sounds like a great idea. Hmm. I like that one the other I don't know if you've seen the last live I did uh, yesterday. Yeah, oh, Lord. It was a hot mess. My brain said it was going to work. And when I did it, mm -mm. and it was a hard uh, stencil, like uh, essential stencils. But I got it from Fusion. Mm -mm. It did not turn out. It fled underneath and. I didn't get it thick enough, and ugh. and I just did two right for it, and it turned out fine. But that last one was not. I guess I rushed it. I don't know. But I cleaned it off, and I'll get to it again. 
I'm just not good with it, and I need to practice it. Ah, look at that. Just a spot right there. I want to grab that and see if I can get this a little bit more. Right there. Beautiful, beautiful eggs. Yep. So I'm done with these tonight. The couple, I'm going to touch them up, put a little bit of uh, adhesive in the spots that I had missed, and I'm just going to um, let them sit. It takes 15 minutes, so it's going to take me a little longer than just a few minutes, and then try to get the rest of the adhesive on them, and then I'll show a picture of them tomorrow on my uh, Facebook page. So happy Easter and good night. And I will talk to you guys sometimes next week, hopefully. Definitely Friday, so come back Friday and see. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great night. Talk to you soon. Bye.